Hello everyone, welcome to this video from Simply Learn. Today, we are diving into Wix, an incredibly user-friendly platform that allows you to create a professional website without needing any coding skills. Whether you're starting a new business or bringing an existing one online, Wix provides all the tools you need to build a site that perfectly represents your brand. In this video, we'll be using the example of an online clothing store to walk you through the entire process. From starting a new website and selecting the perfect template to customizing your design, adding essential features like logos and contact forms and connecting your custom domain. We'll also show you how to preview your website on both desktop and mobile to ensure it looks great everywhere. And finally, we'll guide you through the process of publishing your site live. So by the end of this demo, you'll see just how easy it is to bring your online store to life with Wix. No coding required. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before that, if you're interested to make a career in machine learning and AI, unlock your potential in AI and machine learning with Simply Learn's professional certificate course in generative AI and machine learning. In collaboration with IIT Kanpur, designed for aspiring AI professionals, this program offers hands-on experience with machine learning algorithms, deep learning and NLP guided by industry experts and IIT Kanpur faculty. Network with a community of learners and professionals and earn a prestigious certificate upon completion. Enroll now to take the first step towards your future in AI and machine learning. You can find the course link in the description box and pinned comments. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, head over to the Wix website and log into your account. So you can press get started and either you can sign up with Google, press continue. So first they will ask you a few questions like who are you creating a website for? So just answer those and press continue. So here I'm creating for myself. So initially Wix will first ask you if you want to use AI to help set up your website. But today we are planning to do everything manually. So let's select set up without chat. And now they will ask questions about what type of website you want to create. So I want to create an online clothing store. So let's type that in. Yeah. And then you can type the name of your business. Let's just give XYZ collections for now. XYZ fashions or collections, let it be collections. And then they will ask what your goal is. Like, is it to sell products, get booked online? Is it to host an event? So as ours is an online store, it's to sell products. Again, they will ask many questions. So just, you know, answer those. Okay, finish. So this is basically a dashboard. So we'll discuss about this later. So now first, our goal is to find a template, to pick a suitable template for our website. So let's go to design site. And again, here you have two options. You can either generate a design with AI or you can customize a template. So for now, we are customizing a template. So let's choose pick a template. See, as you can see, there are a variety of templates available. So scroll through and select one that matches your brand style. So let's see. So let's choose this template. Let's go to edit. So you should choose a template that not only looks good, but it should also fit the structure you need for your online store. So keep that in mind. So now we are in the Wix editor, the main interface where you will customize your website. So as you can see here on the left side, you have the main menu, which lets you manage your site's design, add elements and configure settings. Now at the top, you will find the toolbar for quick access, like saving your design and previewing it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go through the website. You know, you must familiarize yourself with the interface so that it will make the editing process much smoother and easier for you. So that's the first thing you have to do. Just get familiar with the website options. So now let's get into designing. So as you can see, this is the template and the template is divided into sections, right? So here you have the header section. Here you have the main body section. Here you have the gallery section. And then you have the footer. So each section is fully customizable, okay? You, even though this is a template, you can change each and everything of it, like the images, you know, the text, everything. So this allows you to make the site of your own. So let's start with the header first. Let's just zoom in a bit, yeah. 
So here you can go to quick edit to edit the header. So here you can change the background color, adjust the layout, you can adjust the layout and you can edit the menu. So let's just check how we can edit. You can even select images like these kind of images for the background or you can keep it plain according to your wish and according to your creativity basically. Okay, this, so this is how you can change colors of the header. Now you'll also want to manage your site pages. So what you can do is you can go to page and menu. Page and menu from the left hand menu to add, delete or reorder pages. Okay, so currently in this template, this is the order of the template. So first we have the home page, then we have new collections, then we have collections for women, men, right? So if you want, you can reorder. Like suppose if you want the men section before women section, what you can do is you can just, you know, slide it. You can just drag it. This is all drag and drop method. You can just drag it. It's that easy. It's that simple. Okay. And even if you want, you can add items also. So for example, the, basically you try to keep your menu simple, but again, you must have like some of the must have categories are shop, about us and contact, right? So here we have shop, here we have about us, but at least you can see there is no contact. So what you can do is if you want to add contact, just add menu item. You can create a new page or you can create a new section. You know, you can create dynamic pages. So right now I want to create a section. Now they'll ask, what do you want to link to? So is it a web address? Is it a document? So right now we want, e like if you want email for, like for contact, you need email and phone number, right? So here you can write in your email. Here you can write in your phone number and press done. Now next, let's add your store's logo. So as you know, logo is very important for the brand. So now let's see how you can upload your logo so you can delete this section if you don't want just press, uh, just a second yeah you press delete now let's add elements here you can search like here's a search bar you can search logo custom logo yeah so either you can upload your own logo like if you have created a logo already you can upload the images from your file or else which also helps us to create logos so let's add the logo first, adjust it. Let's see if the logo is here, just a second. Yes, now let's go to logo design, design my logo. Okay, now again, they will ask you questions about your business. So this is an online clothing store. Yes, next. Now they will just ask you what vibe do you want for your logo? You know, what it wants to represent. Should it be modern? Should it be fun? Should it be creative? So I want it to be creative basically. And it should be a fresh one. Yeah, you can choose multiple options. Give next. And again, they'll ask you what text you want in your logo. So basically, I, I just want XYZ collection. So I just want XYZ. So let's type that in. And then you can give your tagline if you want to. Or else, if you don't want to, you can skip this part. Now let's see what Wix suggests. The logos Wix suggests. So these are the logos that Wix suggests. So you can, you know, select whichever appeals to you. Okay, for example, right now we'll just select this. Let's go to customize. Now here again, even though they have suggested you a logo, you can again, you know, work on it and make it better. You can change the color. And if you didn't like the color, you can change the color if you want to. You can add text to this if you want to. Okay, you can add shapes, you can add symbols, right? And even you can upload images. Like inside this, if you want more images, you can upload images from your file also. So for now, let's just, so for now, let's just save this. Okay. Yes, our logo is created. Of course, you can make it much better. Yeah. So I've just told you, you can make much better logo with this. Like I have just showed you the options. So go through it, use your creativity and make a better logo. Because logo is very important. Like a well-designed logo is key to your brand identity. So you must ensure that it's clear and looks great on all devices. Now let's customize the hero section background. So here you can again go to quick edit. You can change the background color. I prefer to keep it plain color, which is better. So let's keep it black. Now this area must be very well edited because this is a great place to showcase your latest products or promotions. So make sure that you use high quality images that align with your brand's aesthetics to make a strong first impression. So you can change these images for that. You can go to manage media. So these are the images from the template. So what you can do is you can actually delete it. You know, you can select this particular image. You can delete it, right? So accordingly, you can delete these images and you can add a new image from media. So if you go to add media, you can, you know, add the, your product images from your site. 
you can go to upload media and from your file or you can drag and drop from your computer so that's how you upload your image to the website right now it's time to edit the text so click on the text box we'll just see an example click on the text box choose edit text and we can just update it with something like you know summer collection out now summer collection out now you can resize it to bring it to a single line yeah now you can change the font sorry we had to select it i think this is cool and again you can make it bold you can make it italics you can underline it you can change the color okay let's keep it let's keep it red so this is how you edit the text accordingly you can edit texts so your text should be clear and concise so be careful with the you know text color you choose the text font you choose and also the size of the text you choose because your text will always contain a strong call to action so it must really appeal and also you know draw the attention of the customers going through your website so please keep that in mind so now let's add new sections to the home page so go to add section from the left menu and choose from options like product gallery testimonials or newsletter sign up so here let's just go to testimonials for example now you can just drag and drop so these are the templates you can choose from and drag and drop so you can just drag and drop it i want it at the end just before the footer yeah so it's done now again as i have already told you how to you know change the images and also work on the text you can use those and customize your testimonial section so now let's customize the page footer so here you can add your stores contact information social media links and important legal links like terms of services and privacy policy so you must make sure your footer contains all the essential links and information customers might need including return policies and customer service details also so now let's see how to add contact form so customer interaction is crucial so let's add a contact form for that you have to go to elements add elements you can select contact form you can just search here contact strips and again you can drag it to your chosen section so customize the fields according to your needs such as name email and message so adding a contact form ensures that customers you know can easily reach to you with questions or feedback so consider setting up an automatic response to acknowledge inquiries promptly so this is how you can edit your website in wix website now before going live so like now our next step is going live so before going live you will want to connect a custom domain to your site right so for that you can go to settings and select connect domain so you can either purchase a new domain through wix or connect one you already have so having a custom domain adds professionalism and make it easier for customers to find you online right so while choosing a domain choose a domain name that reflects your brand and which is easy to remember mostly avoid using numbers or hyphens if possible so after connecting your domain you'll be taken to the wix dashboard so this is your command center where you can manage orders track inventory and you can also access analytics so from here you can also update your site manage seo and settings and send marketing emails so you must regularly check your dashboard to stay on top of orders and site performance so you can use the analytics tool to refine your marketing strategies so before we publish it's essential to preview your website right so click preview button which is at the top right to see how your site looks on both desktop and mobile so this is how your site looks on desktop you can also click here to see how it looks in a mobile see this is how it looks in a mobile so you can slide pretty cool right so you must ensure that everything is working perfectly from navigation links to the checkout process so test every link and form to make sure your site functions flawlessly this will help you catch any issues before your customers do so now once you're satisfied with everything it's time to publish your site so you can click publish which is at the top right and your online clothing store will be live so as you can see you can share your site's url on social media in your email signature and anywhere else potential customers might see so before you start promoting double check everything one last time especially your store's payment options and shipping settings I hope this tutorial was helpful and you are now ready to launch your own store. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.